James Charles Egg. <laughs> or is it James? No, James Charles Egg. Oh yeah, it would be that way. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my sort of opinions on bald pranking. Now, James Charles has recently released a new video in which he has pretended to be bald. And I thought that it would just be maybe a little bit interesting to get a real life bald person's opinions on this. So I'm just going to talk you guys through what I think are some positives and some negatives that have come out from this video. Um, I just want to put a disclaimer in just in case you were wondering why I'm bald. Um, it's not by choice. I do have alopecia universalis. I will link a video in the cards to explain like how I lost my hair and when that happened and everything if you're interested in my own story. So I want to start off by saying that I'm personally not like super offended by the video that James Charles has posted. Um, I can definitely see that there are some issues with the video in terms of like the way his friends have reacted but I will get into that. I think the overall message from James Charles himself was that he looked amazing without hair and he really promoted a sort of self-confidence that I think can really inspire people. So another thing that I absolutely loved in James's video was that little segment at the end where he spoke about how being bald is so beautiful and I think that that spreads a really good message to people that may follow him who have lost their hair and can see somebody that they are inspired by looking so amazing that hopefully one day they can also be the same way that he is about not having hair. So the issue with bald brand. For James Charles his audience is very young and, and like I said I lost my hair at 13 and had I been his fan when I was 13 watching that video and seeing his friends react in the way that they did would have been extremely damaging to my self-confidence. Like obviously as the years have gone on, I've gotten more and more confident with my hair loss and I'm able to come on here right now with no hair and talk to you guys just completely normal. But for a lot of people that is not a reality. A lot of people are very insecure about opening up about these types of things because of the stigma surrounding them in society. I have personally found that with the majority of bald pranks, there are three types of reactions. You get the reaction of shock, you get that shock but also it's funny, and then you get the shock and rude, mean comments. And it's the combination of all of them that make this really difficult. So the reaction of James Charles's friends was kind of a mix of all three. Some people were extremely positive and said that they loved it and I think James really responded well to that knowing that he still looked amazing which he really did. The majority of his friends reacted by laughing and then a couple of them made comments which were basically ew, gross, don't put this on the internet, and you look like an egg. <laughs> um, and like I said, I'm not offended by being called an egg, but again, like I said, I can completely see it from the flip side, and I think the problems with these types of reactions to bald pranks is that it reverses a lot of the work that people are doing to accept being bald and accept losing their hair. I am part of the alopecia and like hair loss community and the work that people do to spread awareness to get people with alopecia and hair loss on you know mainstream media is a huge work that is taken a lot it's the same as the body positivity movement um like you know embracing everything that makes you different and then promoting that to then have people on the opposite spectrum who are making like light of the situation. It can be really damaging because it really like invalidates how people feel with their hair loss. People are gonna watch that and think it's easy for him because he can take off that bald cap at the end of the day and he doesn't have the reality of actually not having hair and living through the experiences that come with not having hair. Um, I know so many people who have been bullied horrifically for losing their hair through school and I think the last thing that they would want is to then come online and see their favourite influencer also be bald but have his friends react in the way that they did. So I think like a really important point is that 
you can lose your hair at any age. Um, it doesn't have to be an age thing, like where you get older you lose hair, even though that is a reality for a lot of people. Alopecia um, and any form of hair loss can happen to anyone at any age and I think until you're in those positions and you actually understand the feeling of losing your hair it's really hard to sympathise with people who have lost their hair. Like pranks just don't sit well in those types of communities especially for people who suffer with their own self-confidence and I'm not coming on here and saying you know no jokes allowed um like i said i can definitely take a joke i can see the like shock factor and when somebody goes from having a lot of hair to no hair there's obviously going to be reactions to it people are going to have opinions so another person that i have seen um that a lot of people in the alopecia community have spoken about is a girl on tiktok i don't know her name but if i can find it um i won't put it on screen because i don't want to promote that but she basically does the same thing but her mum and her like family react in a very negative way to her wearing a bald cap and that is very problematic because you do not want to promote the message that your child is ugly without hair. Hair is a tiny fraction of what makes people beautiful. I don't care what anyone says, <laughs> I know some of the most gorgeous stunning people without hair and the hair just does not make a difference when you look at everything else about them. But yeah I'm hoping we get to a point in life where like people's differences are just embraced. Um, I feel like we're definitely heading in that direction but it's a long way to go so I feel like this video doesn't really have a massive like conclusion. Um, my only thoughts are that if you're watching this and you are going through hair loss and maybe that bald prank did kind of affect you and upset you that I just want you to know there is a huge community out there of people who have also lost their hair who are in the exact same position that you are you would be amazed at how many messages I get a day of people who live right around the corner or people who live on the other side of the world who are in the exact same position that I've been in from the age of 13 and are probably in the exact same position that you're in. I just want you to know that yes bald pranks can be extremely upsetting and offensive but we are all here for you, we are all in the same boat and hopefully one day there will be a time where being bald is just accepted in society. We can hope that we head that way anyway. That is basically all that I have on this video guys. Um, I'm hoping there is like some form of content in this and it's not just a mess and a ramble but yeah I will see you on the next video and yeah